Good morning vlog! It is a Saturday. It's actually Labor Day weekend, so it's a three-day weekend. We are going to go to Half Moon Bay just for like half the day, just to hang out, see what's over there. We haven't been there in a while. And we were looking up what to eat and we found this barbecue place that we really want to try. Hopefully, we'll be able to try it when we're there. So yeah, let's go to Half Moon Bay. Let's go! <laughs> at a drive through It reminds me of Dutch Bros because we used to get Dutch Bros all the time when we were at Davis. Indeed. I'm so excited. Can we get one iced caramel mocha? Uh, large? Large. Okay. Uh, large size? Yeah. You too. Thank, Thank you. you. <gasps> Yum. Now to the beach. Let's go to the beach. Beach, let's go get away. They say what they're gonna say. <laughs> this is and we have our eyes set on that bench over there we're gonna go sit there and eat our lunch right Braid? <laughs> and look at this view it's so pretty and you can see over there look at that beach there's hella people there too and you can hear the sound of the waves it's actually quite loud wow beauty look they even have a volleyball oh yeah multiple multiple Wow, how fun! This is so nice! We are sitting on the bench and we got this coffee. A uh, bird wanted an ice caramel, caramel mocha. mocha. Yeah. It does give very Dutch Bros vibes and it even has a blue straw. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet. So that is very similar to Dutch Bros actually. Excellent work. <laughs> But anyway, let's see what we got for lunch in the bird lunch bag. <laughs> we got some house-made potato chips, which we already ate most of on the drive over because we were very hungry. Tasty. Yeah, they're pretty good. They have like good seasoning, they're crispy, and that yellow powder stuff, I, we think it's egg. Yeah. So kind of like a salted egg kind of vibe, but not a strong flavor as salted egg yolk, you know? Yeah. Good though. But good, yeah, we like them. They only sell two sandwiches on the menu, which is their hamburger sandwich and their mushroom sandwich. So we got one of each to try. So yeah, in there you can see there's a hamburger patty, egg, pickled onions, some greens, some other stuff. <laughs> and then what about this one? Got some eggs, some mushrooms, Mushroom, some, some greens. greens. <laughs> Should be tasty. Tasty. Okay, I'm gonna try the hamburger sandwich first. Mmm, mmm. The hamburger patty is nice and juicy. The egg is really nice. It has a little crisp on it. And there's like melty gooey cheese. And the pickled onions adds a nice crunch and acidity. Pretty solid. Now for the mushroom one. Mmm. The mushrooms are so juicy and flavorful. It's pretty much the exact same stuff as in the hamburger sandwich, but with mushrooms instead. And I didn't know if the mushrooms would be a good like replacement for the beef, but it's very juicy and flavorful. Mm. Both pretty good. All right, this is the hamburger, hamburger sandwich. Good. I like the patty and the cheesiness. It tastes kind of like how you would expect a hamburger to taste. <laughs> Except it's a sandwich because it has bread. different bread. Yeah. Tastes good though. Yeah. I like the sauce. Yeah, the sauce is good. Sauce. Mm -hmm. Good one. <laughs> now the mushroom one. The mushroom is pretty juicy. Mm hmm. Isn't it? This looks like it, it would be a good vegetarian option. If you're asking which one I prefer, I actually would go for the hamburger one. Mm. But this one's pretty good too. Yeah. They're both good. We're finishing up our lunch and this bird is 
hovering around us to try to get some food. He's been here for like five minutes. We did drop some food. Very minimal food though. <laughs> he's like, can you leave so I can eat it? <laughs> no, he's not going for the food. He doesn't know. Oh, well, maybe. Go the food's it. over there, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! <laughs> he swooped! Little happy man. <laughs> he's eating egg. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> it's kind of messed up. Like, anyway, nothing to see here. We're gonna check out this vintage shop. Vintage and thrift. You don't have coffee, you drank it. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Alright, we got a small size and you can get two flavors. So we got Dote de Leche and espresso. espresso. <laughs> I'm gonna try this one first. I think it's the espresso. Mmm. Yeah, definitely got a coffee flavor. Although it's not like hella hella strong, but the texture is really good. It's like not icy at all, very creamy. Mm. Now let's try the dolce de leche. Mmm. Well, that one's good too. The texture is really good here. Like the flavors are more on the subtle side. They don't like punch you in the face with flavor, but it has enough flavor for you to taste it. But the texture is really good. Mm. Very delish. This is espresso? That's espresso, the darker one. It's a, like a coffee. <laughs> oh gosh. This is a caramel. Dulce de leche, yeah. It's like caramel. The texture is really good. The flavor is not as strong. I like the texture of the ice cream. The flavor yeah. is not bad. Could be stronger. Could be strong. But the texture is really good. Mm. Right? Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> when you actually look at the texture, it doesn't look that special, but it tastes really good when you eat it. It's the inside that counts. <laughs> Don't judge a book by its cover. Mm. <laughs> Looks can be deceiving. Yes. How are you liking Half Moon Bay so far? F, U, N. Fun. Practicing your sign language. Indeed. <laughs> Okay, so we got what they call the Texas Trinity, and it comes with half a pound of brisket, half a pound of ribs, one link, and oh gosh, there's wasps! <laughs> and we got potato salad and mac and cheese, and also comes with two thick slices of bread, as well as some sauce. I'm so excited, it looks so good. <laughs> Look how big this is. Oh, it's falling apart. Ah! Mmm. Mmm. 
Oh, it's good. So beefy and meaty and tender. Just falls apart in your mouth. Oh, literally it's so tender that even this plastic knife can cut through it. They ran out of some utensils, so we're using some plastic ones. I'm gonna try it with this barbecue sauce. Mmm, mmm. Whoa, that's super smoky. Has a lot of flavor. I'm gonna try some of this one. It's like a lighter color. Whoa, ooh, that one's like spicy. Almost kind of salsa-like. A barbecue sauce salsa hybrid. Really good though, adds a lot of flavor. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Next, let's try a rib. I love ribs, so I'm excited. Mmm, mmm. Oh, wow. Mmm, mm. It's super duper flavorful. It's like smoky, but also sweet. And the ribs are nice and tender. I mean, it's not like fall off the bone tender, but it's pretty tender. And the, oh, the flavor is just so nice. Last but not least, I'm gonna try a link. The sausage is super flavorful. It has a little bit of heat to it too. Maybe it's like a hot link. Very meaty and snappy sausage. Mac and cheese. Mm. Mm. Not bad. It has like a little bit of pepper in it, so it's a little spicy. It's cheesy, creamy, but is it the best mac and cheese I've ever had? I would say no. The barbecue is the star for sure. Let's try the potato salad. Mm. Potato salad is not bad. Since it's cold, it's much more of like a refreshing bite compared to like the very heavy and smoky and flavorful meats. The potato salad is like light. It has like an acidity, like sourness to it. Mm. Very tender. I just know. Even just cutting into it using plastic. I know, right? It just falls apart. Pretty tender, man. It's actually better than some ones that we had in Houston. Yeah. You gonna try it with the sauce? What sauce did you use? I tried both. This one's a little spicy. That one's not spicy. Oh, what the? You're doing both? Hmm. Barbecue, spicy. <laughs> Together, spicy barbecue. Ah. <laughs> so you, you recommend dipping in both. Is that what yeah, you're saying? I do uh, one end is spicy one and this barbecue. Ah, bird way of eating it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, try rib. I like the flavor. Yeah, the flavor is really it's good. It's not like the most like tender. No, it doesn't fall off the bone. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't fall off the bone. But the flavor is really good. Flavor is good. I think the best pork ribs I've had was the one we had in at Pinkerton's mm. in Houston. Do you remember? Yeah. Those were like so good. They fall off the bone, they're like candy. Link. Link. Very like hefty mm -hmm. taste. You yeah, know? it's a thick sausage. Yeah. Super thick. They like pack it in. Mm -hmm. hmm. Not bad. I still think my favorite out of the three meats mm -hmm. would have to be the brisket. The brisket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the brisket's really good. Good. Good morning vlog. It is a few days later. It's actually the Monday of Labor Day weekend and I'm about to get ready to go out because we're gonna be filming some stuff today. So I thought I would just talk to you guys while I get ready. So that's why we're in this weird angle where I feel like I've never really done an angle like this in the vlog before, but right now I am putting on my sunscreen. It's a versed sunscreen. I wanna say since like 2021 was the first time I started using it. I basically only use this sunscreen. I have a few others that I wanna try, like the Trader Joe sunscreen, but I also get a little bit scared to try out new skin products sometimes because one time I tried this cleanser and it made my face not even break out. Like I had like an allergic reaction to it. Like I had a really bad rash like all over my face. My face was like really puffy and had all these red spots and bumps. That was apparently all from testing out a new cleanser. So I'm very cautious when I try out new skin products because of that reason. I'm getting ready because we're gonna be filming a quick thing for a main channel video. Yesterday all day, me and Bert actually went and filmed a main channel video, which was eating Michelin Bib Gourmand restaurants for 24 hours. But this place was closed on Sundays. So we're going today so I can 
added in. And so technically it's gonna be the first spot in the video, but you guys on the vlog will know that I actually filmed it the next day, but don't tell the main channel. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a really nice Labor Day weekend so far. We had such a good time in Half Moon Bay. We hadn't really gotten a chance to explore Half Moon Bay that much, so it was really fun to like browse the shops and eat all the food. And the beach was super, super nice. So I highly would recommend having like a little picnic at the beach. Or if you're like me and Bird, who we don't want to get sand in our shoes, that's why we sat on the bench to eat our lunch. And I believe they do have some picnic tables too. I didn't see any, but I do believe they have them there. By the way, right now I'm using the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. It has SPF in it, but I also like to make sure to put sunscreen on before it, even though it has SPF in it. So yeah, we had a lot of fun in Half Moon Bay. We even met some viewers, which was really fun. I always love meeting you guys. Literally one of the best parts of my job. But yeah, after we had our day trip in Half Moon Bay, we came home and hung out with the cats. Ollie desperately needed to be played with. So we played with him for a few hours and then we went out to dinner with my family because usually we have dinner on Sunday nights but this weekend just worked better to do it on a Saturday night and we ate at Taiwan Porridge Kingdom which is like one of my mom's favorite things ever because they basically just have a big row of all these different dishes and you pick out different dishes and then you can get as much rice or kanji as you want so yeah it's very like family style and my mom loves kanji so i think that's why she likes that place so much and then yesterday we got up early to go film and we mostly were filming in like the south bay kind of area like the first restaurant we went to was in campbell and the second restaurant we went to was in Los Gatos, and then the third restaurant we went to was in San Mateo, which is Peninsula. By the way, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Match Stick, I think is what it's called, in the shade Mocha. And this is what I used to contour. But yeah, yesterday we spent the whole day eating. And so for the main channel, it's like eating Michelin Bib Gourmand restaurants, which is their award for like best value for the money. And it's so funny because each place was still like a hundred dollars for the both of us, which I guess like for the Michelin guide is more on the affordable side because a lot of like Michelin starred restaurants are like three, four, five hundred dollars a person, I guess, at least in America. Like if you go to Asia and eat at a Michelin starred place, it, you could probably find one for pretty cheap. But yeah, Bird kept saying, this is supposed to be best value for money, but each place is still really expensive. <laughs> but I mean, the food was pretty good. There was one place that we didn't think was as good. If I had a Mei Mei guide instead of a Michelin guide, I would not have put it on the Mei Mei guide. <laughs> but the other two restaurants we had yesterday, we both really liked. And then today we're gonna go to one more place. I hope it's not $100 for both of us again, which I don't think it will be. It's actually a taco place. Next, I'm using this Charlotte Tilbury. I feel like it's called like Flawless Setting Powder or something. If I can find the name of the product, I'll put it on the screen, but I'm gonna use this to just set my under eyes and the other areas of my face. But yeah, this is pretty much what we're doing this Labor Day weekend. Let me know what you guys did during the weekend in the comments. I want to know what you guys have been doing. Because like, sometimes when it's three day weekends, I don't really know what we should do. Because it's like, you want to do something because it is one day longer than a normal weekend, but three days is also not that much time to do something. So let me know what you guys usually do on three day weekends or what you guys did on Labor Day weekend. And now I'm using this Anastasia brow gel, clear brow gel. I like using clear brow gel better than like the tinted ones because my eyebrows are already kind of dark-ish, so it doesn't really need the extra tint, but I do use the Anastasia Brow Wiz to kind of fill in some sparse parts slash make it look more even. At least I hope I do that. I'm not super good at makeup. I actually didn't start putting on makeup until I was like I want to say like 22. So I feel like I learned about makeup way later in my life than a lot of people. Cause I feel like a lot of people start in like high school. So I am not super knowledgeable. <laughs> I kind of just do the same thing every day and whatever I feel like works for me, I just keep doing that. I must focus because I'm going to do my eyeliner right now. Of course I'm using my Physicians Formula eyeliner in ultra black. And this one is my absolute favorite. I tried so many eyeliners and this one was the best one in my opinion because i don't know if you guys can tell but like when i kind of like smile the, this top 
part of my eyelid like touches the bottom part so in other eyeliners it would always transfer to the bottom here and I get like really dark black smudges here but this one is the only one that I find that doesn't really do that the thing about this eyeliner though is that it kind of I don't want to say dries out easily but I'll like use it to do one eye and then already be kind of like it needs time to move the ink down I think so then I keep lots of others readily available so that I have multiples ready so that once one runs out I have another one once that one runs out I have another one so when I travel I pack like five of these eyeliners so that way I make sure that we are prepared by the way I'll leave all these items linked in the description box in case you guys are interested Ooh, oh my gosh every time I do my eyeliner I'm like holding my breath trying to have a steady hand because sometimes my hands they like shake pretty easily I don't know why but yeah kind of a struggle I don't know, good enough. <laughs> For my lip, I'm just gonna use some good old lip balm. This is Glossier Mango Balm.com. Just gotta hydrate the lips. Final touch, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I'm pretty sure I bought this because someone in the comments recommended it one of the times I did a get ready with me. And I like it so far, so let's give it a good spray. I always have to make some weird faces, especially to get this area dry. <laughs> and now we're done. Oh wait, no, we're not done. I just have to put on my little earrings. These earrings, I forget where I got them. I think I got them on a online on a, at like some, it's like a small business website. I wear them almost every single day for three years, but I take them off when I go to bed and when I shower and stuff. And now we are done. <laughs> I kind of wish we were just eating sweet green today or like so or actually no We have so many leftovers in our fridge because we have leftovers from the barbecue place in Half Moon Bay And then we have so many leftovers from the main channel video yesterday And it's literally filling up our entire fridge like I feel like our fridge has never been so full of stuff before Let me just show you guys what's in there. <laughs> Look <laughs> at our fridge. Oh, actually, I think Bird ate some stuff. So there's a empty space here, but like there's so much stuff. Like this is the leftovers from the barbecue place in Half Moon Bay. And then here's some leftover pizza. I don't even know all the stuff that's in these boxes, but they're all leftovers from yesterday. Then we have more leftovers. Then we have the Costco cold noodles. We've actually bought like two or three bags since the Costco video because we love it so much. And then here's some leftover dragon fruit sago that I made for a short form video. So we have two of those. We have some leftover chicken and waffles also from yesterday. This is also leftovers from yesterday. Basically a lot of leftovers. <laughs> so we really should be eating leftovers today, but we got to film for the main channel. So we will eat these throughout the week. And then this is the fit. We were wearing the exact same thing as yesterday because obviously, you know, we want to make it seem like it was filmed the same day. So this flannel is from Costco. This tank top is from Uniqlo. And then these cargo pants are also from Uniqlo. Socks from Amazon. <laughs> okay, now birds fit check. <laughs> Everything unique low. Wait, really? Yeah. Not not your socks. Target, probably. Uh, I think it's from Ross. Ross? Okay, Ross, socks, pants, unique low, shirt, unique low, jacket from unique low. <laughs> and then my shirt and pants are also from unique low. Clearly, we like to shop at unique low. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go eat. Okay, so we just ordered and Bird is always in charge of helping me set up the camera. Right, Bird? <laughs> so we have the camera set up. We're just waiting for our food. We got some water. I'm so excited because I love tacos and burritos. So we got three tacos and one super burrito. And Bird is playing the States game. We've actually improved a lot since we last vlogged that we were playing the States game. I can do it now and get 100% in three minutes. What about you, Bird? I can do it in five. And get 100%? Maybe. <laughs> Bird needs more practice. <laughs> I'll put the link to the website that we use for this test down below if you guys want to test your US geography knowledge. <laughs> I did it. 50 out of 50. Good job. In four minutes. Wow. Good job, Bird. He didn't even ask for my help. Soon, my turn. We just stopped by TPT and Bird got his drink. Oh. All right, third time's a charm. 
There you go. See, skill, first time. <laughs> uh, tell them what you got. What do you like to know? Okay. Peguanin <laughs> milk tea, QQ noodles. 100% sweet. Bird always gets 100% sweet. Is there Physi anywhere you ever get less than 100% sweet? Physically, physically, what? <laughs> physically, physically, physically. So it's like that's a no. I like to move it. Okay. Move it. Are we going to the Lego store? Of course. Don't ask questions you already know the answer to. This is Bird's treat for helping me film. Well, he just comes along and sets up the camera. And sometimes he helps me record something. I'm more than that. Okay. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> you upset Bird. Physically, okay. physically. Okay. Lego store. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice castle. That is a nice castle. And the Corvette. This is an airplane. Oh, whoa, I didn't even see the airplane. Look at the castle. Wow. What do you think of this art piece? Which one? This one? This one? Beautiful. The vibrant colors. <laughs> Stick to me. Okay. They say, yabba dabba doo. Okay. <laughs> Tails from Sonic. Oh, well, that's have, cute. They have Sonic, but I think they sold out. Oh, that's cute though. Yeah. Tony. Uh, <laughs> not exactly. Wow, look at this Spider Man one. And they have a, one that's built already. It looks like he's climbing out of the frame. I know. Cool. Very intense. <laughs> Alright, that's it for this vlog. If you made it this far, comment below. Fun day in Half Moon Bay. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!